IAI. Please come on the stage for the next speaking. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Rajat Dandekar, and uh, I'm one of the co-founders of uh, Vijuara AI. Uh, so our mission uh, is very simple. We want to make artificial intelligence accessible for all schools. And you can consider this talk uh, as a case study in how AI is successfully implemented and can be successfully implemented in schools. So uh, uh, we have three co-founders, uh, myself, uh, Dr. Raj Landekar and uh, Dr. Sridhar Panat. All of us are graduates uh, from IIT Madras. And uh, we have done our PhDs uh, from MIT and Purdue in the US. After our PhDs, we decided to come back to India and contribute in some capacity to the Indian education system. Uh, we have been active for a couple of years now. And uh, uh, here you can see some photos of uh, AI teacher trainings and the curriculum which we have integrated in the schools. So I'll be showing you some uh, clips and some videos of how the curriculum is transacted in the schools that we have partnered so far. So this is a video uh, recorded at Orbis School in Pune. And you can see the students are very excited. Why are they excited? Because they are being shown a video of how AI can be used to engineer proteins. Students absolutely love AI. It unleashes their creativity. It helps them to express themselves. Here is a video of students of City Pride School who are drawing and interacting with an AI tool. What we have seen is that oftentimes students who are a bit introverted or reserved, using artificial intelligence, they are able to express themselves a bit more creatively. AI can cut across disciplines. You can see in one school in Baramati here, uh, uh, Vidya Pratishtan School where we are showing an example of how AI works at the intersection of healthcare. And uh, here we are demonstrating uh, how brain tumors can be detected using artificial intelligence. Students can build extremely impactful projects in AI. So there was a particular student who was not good at maths and science. He was not good at coding. And he approached us saying that I am very uh, passionate about music. I want to do a project at the intersection of AI and music. We guided this student and at the end, he built a wonderful AI application that helps people learn Carnatic music and Western music together. So this is an application which he built. And in two, three months, uh, without any coding knowledge, uh, simply using logic and intuition, he was able to build this brilliant AI application. Along with students, we also do teacher training in AI. Here you can see question paper generated uh, by teachers of uh, Kaveri International School, uh, Raiwood International School, uh, again Kalmadi Shamra Junior College, uh, who made mind maps, videos using AI presentations. We had a unique experience when we partnered with the Pandavpura district in Karnataka. These teachers did not uh, understand English very well, and they wanted the answers to be in Kannada. Now the problem with ChatGPT is ChatGPT gives answers in English but it does not give answers in vernacular languages. It, it simply does not understand our context. So we had a challenging time, but we figured out a way how to modify the responses from the AI tools and make it more relevant for Indian vernacular languages. And we had a fantastic time doing that. So our vision is to transform your school into an AI-powered school. What does an AI-powered school mean? It means teachers who are trained in AI, and a very sound and robust AI student curriculum. So how is the curriculum transacted in the school? There are three main spheres. The first is the technical skills in AI. This is the core knowledge. What is intelligence? How can we transfer intelligence into a machine? The second is AI readiness concepts. Are students ready to understand how AI is integrated in their daily lives? And finally, we have intersection of AI and ethics. What is the right way and wrong way of using artificial intelligence? All these three spheres work together in the curriculum to deliver a very robust curriculum at the end. For class 5 to class 8, we have the Excite, Relate, Purpose, Possibilities, and Ethics module. Towards the end, we have a Build and Create module as well. Ninth and 10th, the curriculum is a bit more detailed, and it goes into some mathematical concepts as well. So our AI platform, which we have designed, has five main pillars, storytelling, real life connections, adaptive learning, engagement and interactivity, and finally, project-based learning. So I'll be showcasing a small demo to help you understand how AI can be learned through this platform. 
so you can play the music also over here the audio might be muted so this is our platform you can see that there are a lot of interactive ai games in which students can actually learn by uh, immersing themselves in this environment and uh, later you will see how artificial intelligence is integrated with sdg goals sustainable development goals we want to teach students how as a farmer let's say you want to identify between healthy and diseased crops how can you do that storytelling is the best way imagine you as the farmer you have a field which you want to take care of manual detection is very challenging how can you manually go to every single plant and detect it but ai can help you in this process ai can help you detect between healthy and diseased leaves very easily and we don't stop at this we allow students to go to the garden pick up the leaves and actually build an ai model for themselves the cross cultural applications or the cross disciplines in which ai can cut is absolutely amazing this is an example of ai in agriculture we have a lot of examples of ai in travel we have the digi yatra example ai in healthcare you saw the brain tumor example ai in food sdg finance so it doesn't just restrict you to computer or coding but it cuts across a lot of disciplines that's the beauty of ai you can integrate it in any other discipline as well this is our platform uh, we have video lectures interactive notebooks practical applications and assessments and uh, we ensure that ai curriculum is transacted in a in a very proper way in the schools now finally let's say the curriculum is taught the teachers are trained in ai what next so we have the build and the create part in the build and create part students will build ai projects all of us are familiar with robotics robotics is where you build hardware kits ai is fundamentally very different from that you can have a look at these projects this project is done by students of kalyani school where we are working with the students are trying to understand can therapists use ai for their treatments this problem itself is not very well explored but imagine as a therapist if ai can help me to understand what my patient is suffering from and uh, and can help the doctor to uh, maybe revise their treatments in a better way it's a very interesting problem and this is an open ended problem it is a research problem where we are encouraging students to think outside the box they are not necessarily building any any uh, let's say any hardware as such they are thinking creatively they are actually interviewing therapists and they are trying to understand how ai can be used there again this is a very fantastic projects being done by students of kalyani school they are trying to understand whether ai can infiltrate the school uh, uh, school examination system all of us are aware that ai can be used to solve assessments but we haven't really tested whether it can it can be used to infiltrate the education system students have injected ai submissions in the english language geography and and teachers are not aware of this and at the end of the study we are planning to publish a paper on this and the title will be a real world test of ai infiltration of school examination systems the third problem is being, uh, being done by rustam ji cambridge international school uh, this is in mumbai where the students are trying to detect pneumonia simply using the x ray images and all of this is possible after the curriculum is taught in the schools these projects will be doing at the end has hate speech uh, let's say risen over the years all of us are aware that uh, a lot of social media platforms facebook instagram etc and maybe we say that hate speech has increased but what's the quantitative proof students of uh, rustam ji cambridge international school are building a model which can scrape data from the internet and then the model will actually tell you whether hate speech is actually rising or not uh, this is a project done by a student of an orbis school uh, in pune uh, and he actually presented it at the world uh, science robotics uh, in amdavad so uh, he integrated ai in a glove and that helped mute people to communicate it's a fantastic project which can understand your hand gestures and can tell what is the meaning of all these individual hand gestures this is a project again done by students of kalyani school recommendation system for regional languages ai in agriculture uh, this is done by students of vidya pratishthan school uh, in baramati they are trying to study and build an ai model which can take images of rice leaves and detect whether the crop is healthy or diseased finally i want to end by saying that the applications of ai are there in all the fields arts music finance uh, psychology climate change education etc and through a pop, uh, through a proper curriculum 
Uh, towards the end, we have a build and create part where the students will actually get to do and deploy the projects. And then we have a publication section where the school AI magazine will be published, where all these projects will be displayed. So we have a booth right over here. All of us are there. Please come. We have already interacted with a lot of you. In case anyone has any questions, uh, you can feel free to ask. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now I request Reshma, ma'am, please come on the stage.